look at that color, Jen. Look at the picture change before your eyes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Welcome to my first episode of Will It RGB LED or something of the sort. Today we're going to be swatching some paints on a color chart and trying out something new and exciting and something that I've been waiting to do for a very long time. We will be swatching some Liquitex heavy body paints. It comes in this wonderful little package and there are these wonderfully sized little pouches. I'm sure you can get them in bigger sizes, but I chose to get them in small because we will just be doing simple swatches. And I don't need a whole lot until I know exactly what colors I need. And that is what our color journal here is for. So what we will be doing is putting the colors, we'll be mixing colors and putting them onto the um, color chart. And color charts are very useful because it allows us to refer to them later. When you're painting a picture, you don't get tr stuck trying to find a color that's perfect by mixing a million different paints. You already have it there in a book, in a log, ready to be checked, ready to be looked at. And so with this RGB LED stuff, that's going to be particularly important because we're going to be going through a lot of different paints. Okay, so this is the lovely canvas that we will be working with today, or in this case, a notepad. We'll be doing a two to one ratio, which means we've got um, double the amount of paint for these colors on the top here, as opposed to the ones down the left side. So we'll be using two drops of paint for the names on the top and one drop of paint for the ones on the bottom but this way we can just get two different colors as opposed to the one because when we apply different colors to this, we're gonna wanna see the slight differences. Oh, so subtle differences. So along the top, we will be doing lime green, medium magenta, cadmium orange, a brilliant purple, a light blue, and a yellow Hansa with white. And we'll be going down in the same order on the side. Because this set did not come with a white, we're going to use this Artist's Loft Acrylic Titanium White, which will help us dilute the colors and figure out at what point they're going to be nice and pastel-y. So this is our finished product, looks pretty good to me. And then what comes next is applying light. Okay, so here comes my favorite part, and for good reason, because this gets exciting. Uh, it took me a while to find my remote, so hopefully we don't lose too much of our natural lighting. 
because there's so much natural light in here. Okay, looks good on white. And we're just gonna set it on fade for right now and just let it do its thing. Overall, I am very pleased with this swatch. It's going to take me some more time to process it and find out what we're looking at because there are a lot of color changes that are happening. We'll give you some better examples in the next video whenever I go over our color swatch evaluation. <laughs> it's going to be when we get into the thick of it. <laughs> Something to pay attention to is how bright the colors get and how dark they get but overall I'm very happy with the outcome if you haven't already leave a like subscribe um, leave in the comments what you think about the whole thing whether or not it's kind of ridiculous or useless or if you just really like the concept because I really do and I'm so excited to keep going I have so many ideas this whole thing has me so inspired if you guys happen to know of any community or any place that I can go to connect with other people who love to do this art, let me know because I have searched the internet high and low for a community based on RGB, LED, Technicolor, Paracolor, whatnot. <laughs> and I would love to connect with some other people who have experience in it because so far I've only met one other artist and there's like a couple random videos on the internet of people. Um, just letting color go over their pictures. So I am extremely excited to do it with other people and, and to like take all of our knowledge and mash it together and create amazingness. Because right now, this looks like pretty uncharted territory. Let me know what you think and I will see you later.